Connor, welcome to Everton. How does it feel to join the club? It's incredible. First and foremost, it's something where it's been a little bit of a whirlwind. It's gone very fast, but as soon as I hear the interest from obviously the manager, but the football club itself, it speaks for itself. It's something I really wanted to be a part of straight away and listen, I'm over the moon to join you. Why were you so keen to get the deal done? Everything. Everything. Listen, I've, I've grown up around the city. I know the football club. I know what this football club means to the city. I know what it means to the supporters as well. So it was important to try my best to, to get it over the line. And listen, I have done. And it's something, like I said, from the very first phone call I had, from the very first bit of interest that I had, it was something that I wanted to get done as fast as possible. And I've managed to do that. And listen, I'm, I'm so, so happy I'm here. You mentioned you're from Merseyside. Your boyhood club is well known. But you're a player who's known for giving absolutely everything for his team. Um, there are many examples of Evertonians playing for Liverpool and the other way around. There's no doubt you'll give 100% in blue. Listen, I've played football for a long time. I understand football. I know what it means to, to be part of this football club. I told you that I grew up around the city and it's something that I know how big this football club is. So I'm somebody who was desperate to come. I'll be honest with you, I was desperate to play for this club. I've got family, I've got friends who are massive, massive Evertonians and it's important that I work as hard as I possibly can to, first of all, help my teammates to help the football club move forward as much as it possibly can and, and then to make people proud and that's all I'm here to do. So it's an exciting challenge but one that I wanted to jump at straight away. And you'll know Finch Farm very well because I gather your, your son attends coaching sessions here very regularly. Yeah, he does, yeah, and he loves Everton. He loves everything about the football club. He's absolutely over the moon that I've managed to, to sign with the football club. I've been given this opportunity because I feel rather privileged and rather lucky that I've been given this opportunity by the club but listen, he was running up and down the back room and I told him that I was managing to sign here, so listen, it's a proud moment for my family and, and something where I'll give me all every single day I come in here. And getting back to yourself, what are the main qualities you think you can bring to the club? I think just helping people as much as I possibly can. Listen, I'm here to give absolutely everything I've got for this football club. That's something I, I do every day. I come in every day to try and help the lads and help the football club move forward and I'll give absolutely everything I've got every single day. So in terms of my own qualities and what I bring, like I said, I, I try and speak as much as possible and communicate and give absolutely everything to prepare right for what comes on a weekend because the most important thing for this club is winning games and, and making sure we're going out and making supporters happy but improving the club at the same time and that's all I'm here for and, and listen I can't wait to get started. I, I mentioned before about it being a proud day but it really really is. And what has Frank Lampard told you about his plans for the club and the role he wants you to play this season? Everything, everything and I'll be honest with you he's been incredible. It's, a, it's an honour and a privilege to to get to work under him, if I'm being honest with you. The first conversation I had with him, it was a little bit surreal, if I'm being honest, because one of the greatest English players of all time, one of the greatest midfielders, and I was on the phone to him, and it was probably one of the best phone calls I've ever had, I'll be honest with you. I had goosebumps when I was speaking to him, and he was kind of explaining the football club, and he didn't really have to explain it, if I'm being honest, because I know all about it, but in terms of what he wanted to do and how he wanted to improve and where he wanted to go, I think it was an incredible part of it as well. So, listen, the phone call was a bit surreal, but something I really enjoyed, yeah. His passion is something that's really resonated with supporters. Is that something that you felt on that phone call as well? Yeah, and I think you see it. I'll be honest with you. At, at the end of last season, I watched all the videos of supporters outside the ground. I watched him stood on the boxes at Goodison Park after the Palace game. I, I think we all seen these things, and I think we all kind of looked at it and got a little bit goosebumps at what was going on. And I think it was something where we never want to be in that position again. We want to improve and get better. And I think that's something we're all speaking about now. But I think just listening to the way he speaks about the club, the passion he has for the club, for the city and how he wants to improve was, was something that was just amazing to hear, I'll be honest. Yeah. And Frank has spoken about playing three central defenders this season. It's a system that you know well, you excelled in with Wolves. Um, do you feel you can have a similar impact here at Everton? Yeah, I can't wait for it. I can't wait for it. And it's not just necessarily with it being a three. I just want to come in and help. So whatever way the manager wants to play, I'll be there every day making sure I'm ready, making sure I'm preparing and I'm making sure I'm trying to help everybody as much as I can and be ready for the football club whenever I'm needed because that's the most important thing. We're only here for the club, we're here to make the club better and that's what I've come in for. So I think if I can do that and I can help the team as much as possible, it's something I really want to do. And just on the system, because you have played in the flat back four too and, and felt comfortable in that, in that system as well. Oh, I felt absolutely fine and I think it's something where people kind of pigeonhole you a little bit into certain things because we played a back three at Wolves for so long but it's something where I'm open to learning every single day in my life. If someone told me they wanted me to play another position I'd do my best to learn it as much as I can and listen to the manager and, and get better at it so it's something where I've played in the four before, I've played in it for my country and I loved every moment of it so no matter how the, the manager wants to move forward, like I said, I'll prepare right, I'll listen to him every single day and try and help the club as much as I can. Our director of football, Kevin Thelwell, is a man he knows you very well, you know him very well, he signed you for Wolves. Um, what role did he have in bringing you here to Everton? Huge, huge, I'll be honest with you. And, and like I said, the first bit of interest that we got from the club, from the club was, 
was obviously through Kevin. I seen Sammy at Wolves when I was seven years ago when I was a, a little bit younger than what I am now. And I've stayed in contact with him the whole time, not just since he's been at Everton, but when he obviously went off to New York and America and different things. And he's an absolutely fantastic guy. But like I said, when the interest first came, it was kind of something that I jumped at straight away because I was so, so keen to make the move. I was so, so keen to pay for this football club because I know how big it is and I know the passion that people have for this club. And it was an important day. And like I said, it's a proud day for me today to, to manage to get it over the line. And just on Kevin, what qualities do you think he has that makes him a success in his field? His, his communication, I think it's huge. And I, I, I talk about selling the football club, but he didn't have to. It was something where his communication itself, I think he understands me as a player, he knows what I bring, he knows the type of person I am. And the conversations I had with him the whole time were just fantastic. Honestly, it was something where I just felt so comfortable when talking about the football club with him. And I think that's what he does. And I think that's what's so good about the manager as well in terms of how comfortable he make you feel when you're in the presence. And he's exactly the same. So I think that's a massive part of what he does. And this he's doing a fantastic job. And hopefully we, hope we can all keep improve, improving together. And what did Kevin tell you about the club's ambitions going forward? That we want to improve, that we want to get better, that we want to improve every single day of our lives to, to give the best of ourselves every single day of our lives because we all want to move this club forward as quickly as possible and that's something that I've been in obviously a few hours now and the lads are desperate to do, the players are desperate to do, the manager spoke about it already and it's something that we're all desperate to do because we know that the club's a huge football club but it's got a long way to go to, to get it back to where we want it to be and we're all part of that now and we want to move it as quickly as possible and that's something we're all trying to do and coming together with it. Evertonians love players who play with passion and leave absolutely everything on the pitch. Do you feel those values match with the way you play? 100%, but I think that's just normal. I think that just comes normal. To me, that's just every day. That's just something I give every day. And that's not just on a Saturday, whether we're playing at Goodison or away from home. That's something I give every day in my life because, like I said, I come in to, to try and better myself, to try and better the club because I don't believe you can waste a day in football because a career is very, very short. And I think if you waste a day, you kind of fall behind. And listen, we're all here for one reason. And I've mentioned a lot about the club improving, but that's what we're here for. So passion, commitment is just a little bit of what you need. And I think it's got to become normal. And that's something that becomes normal with me. So as I mentioned before, early on, I'll give absolutely everything I've got to, to push this club and help the lads and, and try and help this club moving forward. Over the past five seasons, you've got an incredible record of playing 196 out of a possible 198 league matches. What do you put that endurance and consistency down to? Uh, I think preparation, I think focus, I think looking at what I need to improve on and I'm making sure I'm ready. I think the biggest thing about playing football is trying to make sure you're ready for every single game. Listen, I know injuries occurred and I know things happen for players where they've got to miss out in certain periods. I had to miss one with COVID and I was absolutely raging at one point and it was one of the worst days of my life because I missed a game of footy and it, it was horrendous. But I think preparing myself right, I'm making sure I'm ready because as I've mentioned a lot and it might get a bit boring but we're all here for one thing and that's to improve and get better. So, like I said, it's, if you miss a day, you kind of fall behind. So I make sure I prepare myself as well as I can and, and try and help everybody at the same time. You've been captain at Wolves for a number of years and you're known for being vocal and being an organiser on the field. Is leadership something that's always came naturally to you? Yeah, since I was a young boy, I think my dad's always been huge in terms of communicating. And, that, and that's never just been on the pitch either. It was always off the pitch. It was always trying to see if people were all right, if they needed a hand, what we could try and do to make it better for that sort of individual. So, and that just transcended onto the pitch for me because a lot of it's about respect. You've got to respect the teammates and obviously the players you're playing against as well. But I think my dad was massive on that when I was a kid and, and kind of instilling that into me from a young age. And it's something that's gone with me. And listen, I, I've been lucky enough in, to captain Wolves. And listen, I'm coming here under an incredible captain in Seamus as well, who I've spoke to a few times and I've obviously played against him a lot of times. And, incredible footballer but an even better person so I learn a lot off him as well and, and hopefully help him at the same time. And when you look at the squad we've got here what would you say about its potential? Incredible, incredible and it was something where I didn't have to look at the squad because I knew the players who were in it. I've been lucky enough to play with a few of the boys for England, Dom and Picks and different people like that and I'm real good mates with Andy Lonergan if I'm being honest with you and he spoke so so highly of the football club as well and it was something where I didn't have to look at it because I played against the squad plenty of times before. I know how tough it is coming to Goodison, if I'm being honest with you, and the noise that Goodison creates. So in terms of the team itself, it's an incredible team. And like I said, I think we're all on the same page in terms of what we want to do for the football club. We spoke about it already, and it's important we all come together and do that. You touched on it there. You've played at Goodison on numerous occasions. You scored the winner there last mm -hmm. season. Um, what did you make of that support that you saw at the end of last season and even on Saturday against Chelsea? Incredible, incredible, I'll be honest with you. And I think probably everybody watched it in the country in terms of what was going on at Goodison Park towards the end of last season, obviously Saturday as well. And it gave you goosebumps watching videos and seeing what was going on. And then 
obviously seeing what was going on after the games and then before the games welcoming the bus and the flares and the blue flare and all this sort of thing and the blue smoke and everything you see and it gave you goosebumps it was a little bit of a moment where you think well imagine being a part of that imagine being a part of that like in terms of that fan base and you feel it when you come and play at Goodison as well I've played there a few times now got a bit of stick over the years I'll be honest with you it's something that I've, uh, I've enjoyed with a little bit of banter but listen like I said I'm so so excited to to experience it from an Everton point of view and experience it from being an Everton player's point of view as well. What does it do for a player to feel that back in and that unity from a fan base? It's unbelievable. Honestly, it can give you an extra 10, 20, 30% and it really does. And if people tell you different, they're probably lying because the feeling a crowd gives you when they're pushing you, especially a crowd like Goodison where for the opposition team, it's like playing against 12, 13 men sometimes because the noise is deafening. You know that when you get up behind you that it's giving the home side an advantage and listen I want to be a real part of that and I want to enjoy that and take that in my stride and listen it's going to be a real exciting day and it's something I can't wait for. And with the World Cup on the horizon how big a goal is it for you to be part of that England squad? It's huge it's huge but I think people I spoke the last couple of weeks saying like that was my only kind of goal it wasn't that something we all want to be a part of Every English player wants to be a part of it, but all I want to do at the minute is be part of Everton Football Club. That's all I've said, that's all I've focused on, and that's something that I wanted to get over the line, and luckily enough, I've been able to do it today. So it's important to focus on what's going on at this club, trying to help this club as much as possible. But listen, I think every English player will tell you that they want to be a part of that, and I'm no different. But at the minute, it's not something I'm really thinking about, because my only thought on my mind is trying to help this club and make it better. You'll know a few of the lads from England, Jay, as you mentioned, and, and Ruben, of course, he joined us recently yeah. from Wolves. Um, will that help the settling in process for you? Yeah, well, I'm trying to get Vernag to speak. I'll be honest with you already, I was trying to get him to speak and trying to come out with his shell a little bit because he's a quiet lad. He's, he's a fantastic footballer. He's a brilliant professional, but not just him. Like I mentioned before, Picks and Dom and, and all honours from previously as well. And Listen, I think all the lads I've played against as well over the last few years, so we all know each other anyway. I think they all know the type of character I am, and I certainly know the type of characters they are. So it's important, like I said, we come together. We're all here for the same thing. We're all focused on the same goal, and that's making this club better. So in terms of <clears throat> knowing certain people in the dressing room, it makes it a lot easier. It really does, because them people you mentioned are real, real big characters. And how much are you looking forward to really getting stuck into training and integrate it with the lads here? Oh, I can't wait. I can't wait. It's something that... I'm really looking forward to. So to finally get to this point now, I just want to get the first session out of the way and, and crack on and focus on what's ahead of us then. And finally, we've got a, a big game coming up <coughs> on Saturday against Aston Villa. Do you anticipate you'll be available for selection? Without a doubt, yeah. yeah I'll, be, I'll, I'll be training all week. I'll be making sure I'm ready. I'll be making sure I'm prepared, right? And I'll be making sure I'm ready if called upon and ready to help the club and my teammates. And that's all I care about now. I just want to be prepared, right? And focus every day to try and make myself better and make the club better. Yeah!